This is K9WLW. Uh, this is a video about some of the D-Star features of the D74. Uh, on some of the reflectors, I've run into another a number of hams that have the D74, and they're struggling with setting it up for their hot spot. Uh, particularly Open Spot 2 users. I'm an Open Spot 2 user, so this really hit home with me when I first got set up. The Open Spot 2 manual instructs you to set up a DV, digital voice simplex frequency, to access your Open Spot 2 with D-Star. Now you'll notice in this situation here on my radio, I have set up memory channel 995 with my simplex frequency for my Open Spot 2. The problem with this is if I want to change where I want to move to on the reflectors, it's very difficult. You have to hit the function button, the digital mode button, then you have to move the cursor and go up to this destination select menu, then you hit the enter key, and the only options it gives you is local CQ, which is okay with an open spot too, now, if you have a Pi Star hotspot and you go into local CQ, you'll be transmitting and nobody's going to hear you because it won't transmit a Pi Star hotspot over the gateway with the local CQ. Then there's an option called individual, which is complicated, and I'll do another video on the specifics or the importance of having that individual. Then there's call history, where you can see other call signs that you've come across. And that isn't going to be of much use to really go anywhere. Then there's direct input your call where you can manually type link commands. But do you really want to manually type in a bunch of keystrokes for REF030 Charlie Link and then enter and then hit Kerchunk in order to move from one reflector to another? No, that's a lot of button punching. To even get to this menu and then to dial up what you want to go to is a lot of button punching. But that's what you're forced to do. Otherwise, you have to use your browser on your open spot 2 or your hotspot in order to QSY from one reflector to another. The purpose of this video is to show a way to get your radio to work so you can command with nothing but the radio on how to maneuver around the D-Star world of reflectors. So, to get out of any menu with the Kenwood, the safe key is to quick push to talk and you go out of the menu. That's your quickest way out to the regular screen. Okay, the key to getting a hotspot frequency where you have complete command and control is to actually create a, a profile for your hotspot in a DR memory. Now the DR memory, if you're not familiar with this, is, is, is a pre-programmed package of, of D-Star repeaters from around the world. Well, the problem is, is how do you get there? Well, if you're already in a digital voice simplex DV mode where you can see the DV there, okay, all you have to do is hit function, digital mode, move the icon to the middle where it says DVDR, that switches you from, oh, I have to go out of memory mode first, my apologies, so you have to go into VFO mode. Okay, in the VFO mode, function, digital mode, this is the bridge between digital voice simplex and DR memory mode. See the DR up there next to the EL? This is the DR memory mode. Once you're in DR memory mode, this is what opens up on the radio. Number one, you press the down arrow, repeater list nearby repeaters, TX history, or that direct input, RPT1. What I did is I programmed my hotspot with my exact GPS coordinates. So I actually can go nearby repeaters. It searches. Of course, you have to have the GPS on. 
and my hotspots are the closest ones. Zero miles distant, frequency, a nearby repeater that I put my coordinates in. Here's my open spot. Once you find the one that you have for your hotspot, you load it in there and you notice down in the to select you have your hotspot frequency. Once you've loaded it there, and I'll do another video on how to load it there so that you can access it. It allows you to choose all these other menu options. See how the menu list got longer than the earlier one? You have local CQ, which is something you really don't want to use for hotspots. You have that complicated gateway, which will be another video. You have the complicated individual, which will be another video. Then you will have reflector. This is the one you're going to use most common with your hotspot. Once you get by like the, res the reflector field, you hit the enter key and it gives you another menu, the reflector menu select. You have use reflector, which is the use reflector CQ, CQ, CQ. You have the link to reflector. You have the unlink reflector, you have the echo test, and then you have the uh, reflector info where if you forgot what reflector you're connected to, you just punch this in and you'll notice in the to field or in the to select field you have the letter I. So now we don't know what we're connected to, let's find out. I do a quick kerchunk with the push to talk. Open spot connected to R E F zero three eight Delta. Okay, so it just announced that I was connected to reflector zero three eight Delta. Now, if I go up arrow again for the two select menu, I choose reflector, use reflector, and you'll notice it loads up the CQ CQ CQ. I am ready to QSO on reflector thirty eight Delta if I so desire. Okay, well let's say I want to go to another reflector. I hit the up arrow again, hold it down till it beeps, reflector, link to reflector. Now on this screen, it'll give you the last five reflectors that you have linked to before. If none of those apply, and you want to check one out, pick one at random, go to the dual AB button where it says input on the screen. It's probably hard to read with this camera. There, it takes you to a menu where you can actually manually dial REF reflectors, DCS reflectors, XRF reflectors, XLX reflectors. So you get to choose the, of the four reflector types which ones you want to go to. Well, let's say I want to go to XRF. Then I just move the right arrow and now the numbers part is blinking. I can manually dial, or you can use the up and down arrow. If you want to go through hundreds of reflectors, you can actually hold it. Look how quickly it goes after you hold it for a second. It goes whizzing through numbers, so you can actually kind of get to where you want to go fairly quickly. Or you can use the VFO knob to do one at a time. But let's say I want to go to XRF. Zero, zero, 002 and let's say I want to go to the alpha module I hit right again and the module blinks and it'll let you pick out anything A through Z with the VFO knob or the up and down arrow so let's go XRF 02 alpha once I've loaded it in there I hit the enter key and you'll notice in in the two select field, it says XRF002 Alpha. I just press the push to talk, let go. Open spot connected to XRF002 Alpha. Bingo, I'm connected. Don't forget, once you've confirmed the audio connection, up arrow, reflector, use reflector. Don't leave the link command up there because it'll keep talking back to you every time you key and no one's going to hear you if you're on an open spot too. I know you PyStar users can use the link command and QSO. 
But for those of us that are talking on local repeaters or those of us that are talking on open spot two, you're not going to be getting out and you're going to keep hearing that, that, the, that you're linking every time you unkey. Use reflector. CQ, CQ, CQ. Now you are ready to QSO. Well, let's say I want to go back to REF004 Alpha. Up arrow. Reflector. Link reflector. It's not one of these last five that I picked, so I have to go to the input, which is right here. First key, upper right. And I'm going to dial up REF. Arrow to the right. Dial it down to 004. Arrow to the right. Change that D to an A for alpha. Hit the enter key. Now I have the link command for reflector 004 alpha. A quick push to talk. Connected to REF004 alpha. Okay, got a little fuzzy there, but it did connect. And then again, up arrow, reflector, up, use reflector. CQ, CQ, CQ. It's that easy. In my next video, I am going to show you how to program your hotspot into a DR memory. Because you can see, as I have programmed my OpenSpot 2 in the DR memory here, it allows me to quickly QSY wherever I want to go. So I'm going to show you on my next video how to program a DR memory so that you have your hotspot as one of your DR memories where you'll have full command and control like I just demonstrated to QSY with nothing but your radio. Say goodbye to browsing and changing reflectors with your browser. After you've programmed a DR memory, you'll be able to QSY from one reflector to another like I just demonstrated. For now, 73s, this is K9WLW. Please feel free to send me any comments, or if you have any questions, feel free to email me at CQ2Meters. That's CQ2, the number 2, CQ2Meters at Yahoo.com if you have any questions. I promise I will reply to all inquiries. 73s.